but now they can be changed or extended or adapted to other kinds of geometry. That's also Good. a property of other structures of mathematics that can be, uh, uh, you start out with one idea, one empirical observation or one set of observations, and then you find out that the structure you've abstracted can be applied to other contexts. I think there's a, a, something rather remarkable in that, but uh, you go back to the question of the truth of the postulate of our action. So you raised two interesting questions, see if I remember both. Yes. So the first one, I would want to make a distinction, uh, as Aquinas says. Yes. You, say, you say, of course numbers exist, the question is the nature of the existence. I wish to disagree, again, with Frege. I think existence, the question is not the nature of the existence, but their nature. In other words, they're not kind of existence, there's just existence. There's not mathematical existence, spiritual existence, there's just existence. But for mathematical objects, something else is required to exist than for a hand, or for a planet, or for a divine being. So that's the distinction Frege makes, which I very much like. One notion of existence, different kinds of objects. So the question, if you believe in mathematical objects, is not what kind of existence, but what kind of objects are there. That, that's one thing. Now, your second one is a very tricky point. <laughs> um, and so let me give you, uh, if we have all the time, I would, I would work on this more clearly. So, uh, take the axioms of Euclidean geometry. Are they true? Well, <laughs> you, if, if Frege is like a lawyer, he'll say, I want to guess or no question here, girl. are they true? Uh, now you've got to be careful. If you really want just plain truths in mathematics, ultimately, I think Frege does, then you've got to say that the axioms of Euclid aren't fully explicit. You left out the parameter Euclidean space. So when you put that in, then they're absolutely true. Yes. So Euclid thought they were true, period. Yes. Um, and that's a mistake. But also, they're not false. What, what you want to say is they have to be parameterized to Euclidean space, and they're absolutely true of yes. Euclidean space. So once you do that, then you get to Frege science. Yes. Um, and so all of math should ultimately be getting to truths which are, um, which are literally true, and that if, if there are alternative possibilities, you haven't gotten to the actual axiom yet. So non-Euclidean space is true of, uh, axioms are true of non-Euclidean space, and, you, and then the question is which of those applies, as you say, to physical space is, 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 a, good, is a good question. Frege actually is interesting. Amazingly, thought non-Euclidean geometry was simply a, a, a mistake. Um, um, he, thought it was a, a, he thought it was consistent, but had no model. This is pre-Einstein, um, um, actually also post-Einstein. Um, 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 but he wanted just plain truth, and I, I agree with that. I mean, you have to make up your mind. So if, if you want truth, so for example, the piano postulate, this is what Frege says. This is how arithmetic differs from geometry, he says. This is how arithmetic differs from geometry. Is Euclidean axioms are true only of Euclidean space. Um, um, but the piano postulates are true, period. And that's, he says, their, shows their kinship with logic. He says, he says, try denying any of them and see, and see what you get, he says. So Frege thought that showed, again, part of his logicism. By the way, his logicism did not extend to geometry. So logicism is that all math except geometry can be reduced to logic. But that, the, the idea that, you, that there is, there is that piano postulates cannot be denied, he thought without falling into just contradictions, distinguishes them from the Euclidean. But I think that's the way to put it. When you fill in the details, it's true of Euclidean space, and now it's just plain true. Good. I had another comment that uh, when you said that 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3, uh, but there's not another 1, you have a 1, you don't have another 1, uh, this reminded me how the, uh, the Egyptians uh, worked with fractions because they had a half, a third, a fourth, a fifth, but they couldn't imagine that there was a second fifth <laughs> nor a second tenth. So if they wanted something like two thirds, it would have to be a half plus, Very plus interesting. a sixth. Very interesting. And uh, Very interesting. Uh, so it seems there's something primitive that sure. was closer to uh, a pre perception of reality, as you said, with yeah. Plato. Yeah, that's yeah. very interesting. And again, I think that Egyptian idea is, is the idea, again, of a language versus uh, the symbol versus what it stands for. Frege is also very good in distinguishing um, 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 numeral versus number. Yes. I'm, I'm very big on that. And, and so when I say 3 is equal to 1 plus 1 plus 1, there are three numerals for 1. Um, so that's the first, so it's definitely three of something, right? <laughs> but they're not three ones, otherwise we'd be in real trouble. <laughs> but people have tried that out. 
serious mathematicians or serious mathematicians have, have found out, but you're gonna, you're gonna, you really want to stick to just one one, so to speak. You can actually say one one, one instance of the concept one. Okay. Um, but there are three numerals. But then the question is, would all those three numerals name a number? So if, somebody, if I said, I've got Paul and Paul and Paul, all I've got is Paul, right? So but that just shows and in the English is not the same as plus in arithmetic. That's what Frege shows. So you really, that, and that's, that's why Frege is so interesting. He poses this sort of, in a group line, in this puzzle, like, it's the same one, but how can you get, and so he, he gives a philosophical explanation of the plus function, which is quite sophisticated. So it doesn't mean the same as Nixon plus Nixon plus Nixon, because that's just mm -hmm. Nixon. So and 